Okay, hello again everyone. Back in my games room. It is a fucking mess in here. I apologise for the lack of content as of late. I, um, I've been a bit busy with personal stuff and life. Um, and I've been trying to clean up this room and my, uh, my music room and it's just kind of made a mess in both. So I don't really have, I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll, um... I mean, just look at this. This is my couch at the moment, so... I actually had to clear room for me to sit down. So... Yeah, it's been a bit hectic. Um, hopefully I'll be cleaning up over the weekend. It's a long weekend in in, uh, in Victoria, at least, this weekend. So, I'm fucking happy. I get four days off work. Well, three, technically, but I get to work from home from one day. Uh, so this is my game update for... My collection update for October 2013. I didn't plan on buying much, but I went garage sailing. I went to a couple of uh, uh, cash converters. I went to... I traded some stuff as well, and yeah, cool beans. I'll start off with my only non-game related thing. I got a tripod for my camera finally, which is not on the camera right now because it's actually too high for where it is. So, it cost me two bucks. Um, where to start? Where to start? Let's start with some PC games. Now, last month I was talking about the uh, the Command and Conquer and the, the, the Scream. I know. The Chopper game I got without any actual discs in it. The guy sent me a couple more games in uh, to fix that up. I've got Full Spectrum Warrior, which I think I've played before. And a game I can honestly say I've never ever thought about playing. Bridge Champion with Omar Sharif. I think it's a floppy disk game. Yeah, it is, so... It's interesting. But I have computers with floppy disks in them now. So that's something else, I guess. So yeah, a couple of PC games. Um, what next? Oh, let's go PS2. I bought myself, if you've been watching my Resident Evil series, you know I cracked the shit at the end because... I forgot some other PC stuff until there. Because I couldn't pass the fucking thing. I bought an action replay. This is a sealed one. It cost me 23 bucks off the internet, okay? I went to Cash Converters the very next day after I got this. Found another one for a dollar. Yeah, that made me fucking happy. As you could imagine. Now back to PC stuff that I forgot about. I was in cash converters again. I paid three dollars each for these. Now I've already got all three of these, but I didn't have these versions. So I got StarCraft, which has a bad back. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brood War, which has a normal back. It doesn't have a, doesn't seem to have a CD key, which is fine. I have like three. And this one, which I have been looking for because I do not have the complete version. It is Diablo Hellfire. Fucking good. Three bucks. Where am I going next? Mm, let's go Engage. I got a couple of Engage games to get really close to finishing off my collection. We got S6 Out of Bounds, which I overpaid for, which is annoying by about three bucks. But because I was saving on shipping and got both these from the same seller, X Men Legends, it's both sealed. I could have got this for three bucks cheaper. But it would have cost me 12 bucks in postage when he sent them both together. It cost me nothing in postage, so I technically saved nine dollars. So take it as you will. Um, let's go DS. Uh, let's go with the hardware first. I got myself a bag, which is all good and well, and I got myself a Pokemon XY Blue 3DS XL, which I've been playing Pokemon on. Um, yeah, so that's cool. I don't know if this thing has a friend thing like Wii does. I can give you a friend code and you can battle me over the internet or something. But I'll, if you're interested, leave a message and I'll, I'll, I'll dig it out. But I don't see anyone being too interested in that. This is a pretty cool case. I got it because I'd throw the DS in my bag and it would rumble around and the cartridge would pop out. And of course, I don't, I don't save. I just keep it charged. So I keep losing my save game. So I got to have a case. And this one's got a cool like a 12-slot game thing, which I've got Dragon Quest in, which I have to finish at some point. After Pokemon, that's fine. So I got that in the hardware department. And of course I got Pokemon X. Um, this, uh, when you pre-ordered it in Australia, you got this uh, Pokeball uh, DS game holder thing. Whatever. I got Duck Amuck on the recommendation of Retro Game Tech. Have not played it yet, but this one was complete. It was a second-hand game. It was like 10 bucks, I think. It was buy to get one free. That's why I got that. Because I couldn't find a third game, which I'll, I'll show you in a second what I ended up getting. If I remember correctly, it was kind of crap. Now, as I said, I went garage sailing. 
We've got these games for five bucks each. Mario Kart DS, this is complete. And it's a not for individual sale version, which means it was bundled with one of the DS's, I think. Off the top of my head. Sonic Chronicles, The Dark Brotherhood. That, um, these are all complete, by the way. Crash Boom Bang. And Spore Creatures. They had some more, but I was, they were like girly games I wasn't too interested in at the moment. So I didn't bother to get that. Um, from the same garage sale, I got New Super Mario Bros. Wii for 10 bucks. This also has the uh, Club Nintendo card, which I haven't tested yet. So maybe it's got some points on it, which makes it even more worth it for 10 bucks anyway. Uh, what else did I get while I was garage sailing? Let's go some more garage sale stuff. Oh, actually, from. Yeah, this, these were both from the same garage sale, I think. For $20, I got. And I do that. N64 carry case. This is for games. Holds. Two. Ten. And I got five games in it. Uh, one I already had, which was F1 World Grand Prix. These are all in pretty nice condition. They look like they haven't been touched since the 64 brought out, to be honest. The only problem is they have the game written on top, which I'm going to eventually remove. Uh, International Superstar Soccer 64. A game I actually wanted for some reason. Lilac Wars, just so I can try it. I've never played this game before. I don't know what the, what the hype is about. Uh, Jewel Heroes, never heard of it. And what is meant to be the worst port of this game ever, which I really have to try, Carmageddon 64. So that little 20 bucks for that. So that was a pretty decent deal. Um, from, I think it was the same garage seller, one next door. There was two at one place, and I can't remember. Yeah, this was from the one next door. I got myself a couple of pretty pink DS's. Um, I got, these have, both have R4 cards in them. They both work. This one has a broken hinge. But this one's in pretty fucking good condition considering it was owned by a 10 year old. Uh, this one I haven't charged up yet, so I don't know if it turns on. It's got no light, so I assume the battery's dead rather than it not working. Because usually if you break this, the hinge and the, the ribbon cable breaks, it flashes on and off again. So being that there's um, no light at all, I'm assuming it's dead. This one was missing the stylus, but I got a few of those rolling about. It doesn't really bother me anyway. It's got the cover, it's in actually really nice condition. So I've got those two, two R4 cards, a box of video uh, video related cables, like S-Cart cables, RCA cables and stuff, and four original DS games without any cases, which were two of them were brain training and more brain training, and a couple of others I don't remember. I won't be keeping them, so that's why I'm not bringing them up now. I'll be training them in, I don't want card-only games. Uh, cost me 10 bucks for all of that, so that was a pretty good deal, I would think. So, well, that was cool. Um, what else did I get from garage sales? I think that was it for the garage sales. Um, I got some Xbox 360 stuff. I'll go with PSP first. Ow! So, this was the other game I wanted. From the buy two, get one free. And I found this, and this was the only half interesting looking game. It's called Frantics. These were both complete. No, Wipeout was not complete. But I needed a game, and this was the only half interesting one. This has a, um... Uh, internal print thing. I don't think this one did. No, it doesn't. I like that. I like when they put on that little extra touch. I think it looks cool. So if you have a wipeout pulse manual you don't want, hit me up. Um, I think I'm down to Xbox 360. I got Pictionary Ultimate Edition, which I paid four dollars for. For four dollars, I wasn't going to say no for a, a game. I really hate it though. Like I haven't opened this. This is sealed by. Resealed by them after they open the fucking seal and take the games out. I fucking hate that. Um, I got Skate. I think there's only like three bucks. So this is complete from Cash Converters. And this one I was annoyed about. I paid five bucks for this. It was Fallout 3 because I don't have Fallout 3. I got the expansion packs. I don't have Fallout 3. Case is all banged up. I don't know how well you can see that. And no manual. Don't care too much about the case, but I wanted the manual. Uh, Resident Evil 5. This is the not to be sold separately version to go with my Red Elite that I got last month. My mate finally dropped it off. Um, back stuff. This is the last two Xbox, or the last Xbox game. I got Batman Arkham Origins. Now, I've got the uh, Kinect's Edition um, with the, the Joker TV statues thing. Um, this is only like 20 bucks more than the actual game. So that's pretty good. Um, all it came with some DLC. Hopefully you can't see that. Not that I care, to be honest. Black Mesa Challenge Pack. Black Mask Challenge Pack. Why Black Mesa? Um, a bunch of receipts for it. 
I also got a uh, Pokemon XY hardcover strategy guide because I like strategy guides. Why the fuck not? It's like everything actually, except for the last thing I want to show off. I got a couple of Sega things which I'm really happy about. I don't know if you could actually see it on the side there. I got Rainbow First Blood Part 2, which I have not had. So this is the American cut. I traded this and the next thing for four Famicom games. That really, I don't think were worth too much. They're my doubles too, so I haven't sent them off to him yet. I only got this a couple of days ago and I'm broke because I haven't been paid yet. But I got this, the Master System Super Compact. Now, this is a battery operated not so much portable Sega Master System. You can have a aerial coming out of, out of there, or you can plug it straight in via RF. So I'm assuming I can just attach any aerial to it and it'll work wirelessly to a TV. Uh, it's got a second player port, it's got a DC jack, and yeah, it's fucking cool. I don't know what this thing on the button is. On off. I just, you know, it's fucking cool. I've never seen this before, and I got it for basically nothing. So. Yeah, I'm fucking happy. This was a Brazilian uh, Tekka toy, I think it is. They're called Tech toy um, thing. Yeah, Tech toy. So yeah, I've never seen one of these before. I never heard of it up until a couple of weeks ago. And I got myself one. So, pretty fucking cool. I'm really happy that I actually didn't have to pay for it too. If worst comes to worst, I can always, um, if I can't get it to work, I might rip it apart. Uh, anyway, I think that's it for now. Probably should have turned the light on. I don't know how good the lighting was. It's it's like seven o'clock over here. No. Um, I'm hoping that over this long weekend I will get some more content up. At the very least, I plan on finishing Resident Evil Code Veronica X and starting either Futurama or Kingdom Hearts or maybe Shadow of the Colossus. I haven't decided yet. Um, and I want to get maybe Metal Gear 1 finished and some more of the VR missions finished to, to you know, get some more content up. I know it's been a bit lax lately, that's why I uploaded that point blank video a couple of days ago because I haven't been doing anything. That was easy because I just finished fixing that up. And it's just literally point camera at screen, point gun at screen. Awesome. Alright, on that note, uh, I'll make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Looks like it. So yeah, this was a month where I didn't plan on buying much besides Pokemon and Batman and I'm getting a stack of shit, so... This month I'm expecting some PC Engine stuff in the mail. Um, a couple of games come out which I do not remember. Uh, Legend of Zelda, I pre-ordered the 3DS Link, whatever, Link of T T Two Worlds edition. And the game, the hard copy edition, because the the 3DS comes with a digital copy, but the hard copy, just because I like, you know, normal copies. And it comes with like a... Uh, wait, where is it? Because I've lost words. One of these things, a game holder in like a Zelda treasure chest style. I don't like Zelda, I will admit this, but I like the first game and I like the SNES game. And this is the second of the SNES game, so I'm assuming it's going to be good. I really hope it does. It, it is good. I am also having Steven down tomorrow. If we have time, if not tomorrow, then maybe Tuesday, we're going to record episode four of the collector cast where we actually talk about games and I get to bounce off somebody so it's not going to be 12 minutes of me ranting to myself about crap that no one cares about I think that's it yeah I um I don't have anything else to say I hope you've enjoyed this video as always like favorite comment subscribe share send me a smoke signal donate money I don't have a PayPal link you can't donate me money that's it I hope you've enjoyed it I'm going to come towards the camera and be all scary. Hello. Oh, yeah. For you Yanks, happy Halloween. We don't celebrate it here. It's fucking weird. What's wrong with you people? Point at the ground.